my channel and it is finally the end of 2017. I don't know why I said finally because this year honestly felt like it went by so quickly. So this was probably like the fastest year ever but I'm gonna do kind of a year review today and kind of do like a reflection of 2017 so it's gonna be quite an exciting video but before we get on to like the whole Q&A kind of thing make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter I don't think I've ever told you guys about my Twitter but I do have a Twitter it's called Camry Noel and you know I I guess I'm kind of relatable so you know you guys can go check out my tweets you know <laughs> all right well now let's get on to that video I guess uh, one of the biggest things that happened to me this year was probably like going to high school because it was like such a big change from middle school. Um, I don't know, I like high school a lot better than middle school. I have a lot more freedom, you know, and I was like pretty nervous going in only because, I mean, I knew a lot of the seniors because the twin friends are all seniors, um, so I wasn't really super nervous, but I thought that I was going to get lost. I do have to say, I only got lost once. It was because I accidentally went upstairs instead of downstairs, but figured it out and I still got to class on time, so you could say I'm like the high school master <laughs> as a freshman. <laughs> Three words that would describe my 2017 would be short, it's very short. Opportunities, there's a lot of like new experiences that happen and a lot of like different ways that I could like choose a lot of different stuff that I wanted to do. And um, ooh, what's the third one? self-discovery because that goes along with opportunities too like I figured out kind of like what I like to do high school I had a whole bunch of choices of classes that I could take and I kind of like figured out the ones that I liked and kind of chose like my path for like basically the rest of my life so yeah those are probably three words that I've described in 2017 like. um, you know it's kind of sad because this year is probably the only year that I have not really read a bunch of books so I've only read like a couple <laughs> But I've, um, I'm working on the Harry Potter series. I think in like my first room towards the summer or something, I started them. I'm not on like the fifth, I'm almost done with the fifth one. So this isn't only like a certain book, but like the whole series is super good. So yeah, that's probably like my favorite book series-ish thing. <laughs> I mean, not a whole bunch. I had like a huge growth spurt last year. Um, this year, I grew about like an inch or two. Not a whole bunch, but not really a big difference in my feet size. I guess I cut my hair, which is kind of a physical growing because it's like growing back, but I cut it pretty short, not too short, just like collarbone, I guess. And probably like the biggest physical difference is my teeth because I got like bottom braces on. And yeah, so I guess that counts, <laughs> but like not a, not a whole bunch. Most of mine is last year is when I like grew super tall. I, well, I shouldn't really say super tall, but I grew, <laughs> I grew a couple inches. Beauty and the Beast was really good. I watched that, I think in March is when it came out. I watched it like the day that I got back from Africa, so I was super jet lagged, and I actually like fell asleep the last five minutes of the movie. That was like the climax too, but I, I got the gist of it, and it was a super good movie. I love Emma Watson, so anything she does is perfect. So that was probably one of my favorite movies of 2017. I would have to say, Probably like Taylor Swift. I like her, I like her kind of change into like the look what you made me do is kind of like a big thing in the media. And I thought that it was like a, a big difference and it was something that I kind of like liked because she's been kind of been doing the same thing for a while and then she like swapped it all of a sudden. So I, I kind of like the like big change that she did and I like the look what you made me do song. There's a lot of new artists that I found like Noah Cyrus, um, AJR is one that I found in 2017 that I really liked the music in. So yeah, I mean, but probably look what you made me do is one of my favorites. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I have to like Brooklyn and Bailey's music, they're my sisters, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I heard it a lot on the tour, so yeah, I gotta listen to other music too. <laughs> my biggest accomplishment, it's kind of like multiple things, is actually, you know, for once in my entire life, I hit like my New Year's resolution or kind of like my New Year's goal, which was to hit a million on like all my major social media platforms, and I completed that in October with my last one, so I hit, I'm trying to remember, I got 1 million on YouTube, I think in March or, I think it was March, I can't remember, it's either March or May, sometime in the spring, and then I hit a million on Musical.ly sometime a little bit after that, and then I just hit uh, 1 million on Instagram in October, so I finished my New Year's goal in October, that's probably like one of my biggest accomplishments, I mean, it's crazy to think, like, all, all, we have all that people in our family, so yeah, that was a pretty big accomplishment. <laughs> 
probably by the time this video goes up, <laughs> it'll probably be Christmas. And because I, I really like the Christmas spirit and just like the whole holiday overall. And plus like my birthday's around that too. And we'll be like going on a cruise with our family, which is something that I'm really looking forward to. Um, but as of like right now when this video is filmed, Thanksgiving is a big one. We had a family down here. That one was fun. Um, besides that, is it bad to say that I can't remember what I did for the rest of the holidays? <laughs> So, yeah, I guess Christmas in the future. My favorite trip, I love all, all traveling that we do. Um, I especially love tour, but I guess it doesn't really count as like a trip. That was more of like an experience. So probably my favorite like vacation that we went on was to South Africa. It was really cool because you had like two different, two different like cities that we went to and they were completely opposite. One was like first world, you know, there was like uh, like electronics and stuff like that and then the one was completely third world where like you it was just such an um, eye-opening experience and we got to see lots of animals and I love animals and photography so that was like super fun for me and yeah so probably I, I love South Africa it's such a beautiful country so that's probably my favorite vacation <laughs> would be kind of like trying to maintain school and like all my other stuff. I mean, I'm in high school now, so we obviously have like a lot more freedom, but we also have a lot more like responsibility and a lot more homework. So, I mean, it's just like kind of time balancing, making making time for like my friends and my family and my work and then like all the other stuff that I do. Uh, but that's kind of hard for me in like the middle of the year, especially when school is starting. This cannot be a question. I like all TV shows. Um. I don't have a favorite. Well, I can tell you all the ones that I like watched. Let's see, I finished The Office. Um, I watched The Flash. I'm gonna sound like I'm so lazy. Oh my goodness, I watched so many TV shows. Supergirl, that was a really good one. Uh, Jane the Virgin, I watched uh, Stranger Things. And then um, I guess like a reality TV show, I watched Big Brother. So that was a good one too, that was a good season. Oh, I did. I watched Waverdale too, uh, but probably my favorite, I would have to say, besides Stranger Things, that was just like a given, that's everybody's favorite, would have to be Supergirl. I love that one, just because like, um, it was kind of just like, um, I wouldn't say it's like every other superhero kind of show, but uh, you know, it has kind of the same plot. But it was really cool because like all the leading characters are all female, so like the president is a woman and the, the president of the company is a woman and then of course Supergirl is female so you know you got female power going on and it, I don't know, it's really cool, it was a really cool show, I like that. Girl power! <laughs> I don't really know, a lot of, a lot of compliments that like y'all gave me on tour were super nice, um, but I would have to say like my favorite one was a girl, she told me <laughs> she told me that she liked how awkward I was, which I guess is a compliment, <laughs> but um, it's probably my favorite compliment because it's nothing that I've like really heard before, but it was, uh, it was, it was good intentions, um, but I don't know, I like, I like told somebody that she said that to me and they're like, that's a compliment, like they mean like you're so uh, ordinary and you've got, I mean you've never heard that compliment before, so it's obviously a good thing, <laughs> so yeah, I mean that's probably my favorite one and I don't know, it was just uh, something I've never heard before. So yeah, I was glad she said that. I mean, I went to high school for the first time. I went to Africa for the first time. I went on tour for the first time. Hopefully not the last time, because it was so much fun. I drove for the very first time in my entire life. I actually made a video about it. You guys can go check that out somewhere. There will be a link <laughs> on the screen or somewhere in the description box. You guys can just, you'll find it, I promise. So yeah, that was uh, that was really exciting, kind of scary, but I get my permit in, th in December, so yeah, that'll be exciting. Something I would do over from 2017 would have to be, I mean, nothing like really bad that I would do over because, I mean, I kind of like believe that even like mistakes and stuff, it's still important for you to have them because it like teaches you lessons. Um, not that I like really made any major mistakes in 2017, but I mean probably as like a positive experience I would say that I would really like to do over or like relive tour because it was so much fun Just meeting all of you guys and performing and I met like a whole bunch of people on tour that like 
that were our performers that I loved hanging out with, and it was just overall such a great experience. So I would I would have an awesome time redoing that or doing it again. I don't know, that'd be awesome. <laughs> There's a lot that I'm looking forward to. I mean, um, obviously it's gonna be exciting to like start a new year of high school, my sophomore year. Um, I will hopefully get my braces off in the early 2018. That's what the ortho told me, but you know, they always they always say it's like six more weeks and then it's like four more months. So you're not really sure until it actually happens. Um, I'm also excited because we are going to be donating a well in the Dominican Republic and it's like important to give back to communities. So I'm super excited to do that. And um, I'm trying to think. I mean, just kind of like live through the experiences again, like 2017. I mean, I never, 2016, I didn't know that I was going to be going on tour or I didn't know that I was going to be, you know, doing exciting things like that. So, I mean, just living through all the opportunities that are going to be happening in 2018. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video, my year in review. I just want to thank you guys, especially because like without y'all, I wouldn't have all these opportunities that like I had this year or next year. And um, yeah, I mean, we go through a lot of the same stuff, like, you know, getting braces and all that stuff. So um, yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for like following along with my journey. And you guys can subscribe to see some more of what happened in 2018 by clicking that red button down there. And you can check out some of my old videos or some of my other ones that I made previously this year by clicking over here. And I will see you guys soon, I guess next year. So yeah, <laughs> bye!